This guy's always YouTube. Back again with the MF Xeno Spar. <laughs> Timeless. What you doing? Cleaning all the, I guess, leftover wet sanding that Carlos did. He wet sanded it? Like he wet sanded the car, but the, it had no windows and all the water came in the car. So you're wet sanding this? Nah, I'm just wiping it down. Oh. <laughs> Quick wipe down. I thought you were wet sanding that. No. Man, I want, I want something like this. Uh, this one doesn't have the brake booster thing. I know this 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 brand is uh, discontinued, right? Nah, you can still get it. Really? Yeah, it's it's made to order though. Oh, it's made to order. Yeah, so it takes like three four months from Japan. Man, screw that! I could make one of these myself. <laughs> I'm gonna just steal the measurements off of here. <laughs> I'm gonna just copy them. Nah. Circuit girl did it. How much? How much was this? That was like four hundred bucks. Three or four, something like that. Man, that one's nice. Cause I want to kind of go with the, uh, like everything that's bracing the chassis, like a kind of a polished look, you know. Yeah, it like barely cleared. Um, How you gonna take it off though? What do you mean? Like if you need a. Oh, this. Fill it up. Oh, it'll come off. Oh, it'll come off. It'll come off. Barely. So I'm. I might have the same issue, huh? Cause I'm running a brake booster also. Yeah, this is the ICR one, so it's fatter. Oh, okay. Cause a lot of people, they run the S2000 one also. Oh, the clutch? The clutch one and the brake, brake booster. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. I'm gonna get that line. <laughs> nah, it'll be fixed. Yeah. Are you are you gonna redo that one? Yeah, I'll redo it. You don't have to worry about that one. No, so if you're gonna reuse that one, can I, can I use that one to for like pulling measurements? Yeah. As a dummy. Mm -hmm. I call it a dummy piece. So we could take that one out. Can you, do you have the measurements for that one already? Yeah, it's on there. Okay, and you know how to rebend it, right? Yeah, I just gotta cut the fittings off. Okay, so. All right, let's get into it. So, how much time do you have? I have about an hour and 30 minutes because I, I want to go home and uh, try to uh, do a little bit of backyard work. Why, okay. what's up? Oh, I just want to see if you can knock out the central ones, I guess those at least get one or two started. Shit, man! Once I land that first line, everything else will be easy. Okay. Yeah. So this is kind of I'm I'm kind of anxious to see how you do it. Okay. Going to um. Uh, so Vincent, what he did was he did some uh, what are what are these called, Vincent? Kind of just sample lines. Yeah, they're uh, mock-up lines, I guess. Oh, yeah, mock-up lines, so I'm going to take a look at it. <sighs> of course, got to work in my sandals, you know. <laughs> Hit that Indian style. Uh oh Is that okay? It's flexing. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. It's good. I think this one should be. I think this one should be the first line. So. <sighs> It just slides, right, Vincent? Uh, you might have to undo it by hand. Okay. Did you? Oh, you flared it already, too, huh? Yep. Man, this radius is pretty close. It's pretty Come good. On. The radius? Yeah. It's pretty close. Four there. So Vincent had uh had bent this line that he's gonna redo. We're just gonna use it as a dummy piece. You have cutters? This right here is basically, uh, it's kind of will be set. So whenever you bend it, it's going to be repetitive. Man, what else you got on there? <laughs> Use a pen for <laughs> All right, so on every bender, there is a radius. In the radius, it says it's five eighths. And our radius is basically this bin right here. So five eighths. So from here, from the start of that turn to the center of this pipe right here will be the radius. So that little 
bit right there would be five eighths. Just something to keep in mind. Oh, you said it best. Hey, so when you guys are are doing this, make sure that you add an eighth to it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Just do it. That way it'll give it some room to flare. So yeah. let's see. So we're adding an eighth. And that eighth, when you guys are bending it, put that at the end of at the end of the the bender something like that you can see it you you don't want that line right there right at the end reason being is uh when you flare it this is as close as you're gonna get you're gonna bend the 90. You got a square, Vincent? 90? No. No? Alright, we'll just look for some. Use a right angle. We'll something. just use this tape measure. <laughs> there you go. There you go. square it. Just close. Don't have to be precise. And bam, this will be our dummy piece. So it's done. This will be our uh, basically a measuring piece. So this one, as close as it is, I'll call this one a closed bin. I mean, I can buy some more nickel. So. What do you mean? So we're gonna go. I'm gonna say we're gonna. No. No, a straight piece of tubing. Well, oh. we're gonna say 11 inches. 11 inches. So the top of this is going to be from the bottom of this plate to the top of that is four and five eighths. It's four and five eighths minus Three quarters. Four and five eight minus three quarters would be three and seven eighths. Damn. So the top of this going down will be three and seven eighths right at it. Three and seven eighths, it'll be right there. And then it'll go straight in. Three and seven eighths. Seven. Precise. So we got the clothes bin, 11. Three and seven eighths, and then after that, we're gonna cut it. That cut will be. We're just gonna give it a rough estimate, and then just kind of cut it to length. So it's gonna go over here, down. I say I'm gonna give it three inches. So I'll do three inch cut. that'll be our first line so I'm gonna go ahead and bend it and uh, see what happens oh, shit. yeah so whatever before I cut it so that we don't use all the tubing I would add everything up this closed bin right here would be let me see says one and three quarters but I'll just do two inches, so I'll round it off. So we'll put a mark right here. Close is shit. I would say three inches. Three inches. So we're gonna add it up and we're gonna go cut the tubing. Here fraction up and we're gonna do three whoops wrong one three plus 
11 plus 3 and 7, 8 plus 3 will be 20 and 7 eighths and I gave it a little bit of room so we're gonna cut one that's 20 and 20 and 7 eighths you ever use pickle copper? no it's not too soft No, I mean, I'm not worried about that then. It's okay. I do it all the time. I mean, I don't even get that much, that many views. So, mm -hmm. so we straighten it out. About to cut 20 and 7 eighths, which is right here. Let me see. I gotta be careful with the. Cause say like ten years from now, that video is popular, but you got that one song in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh don't, damn! Don't get paid for it. God damn it! If it's not told me, too. <laughs> he warned me. I'm trying, to, trying to avoid popular music, but it's hard. No, uh, you know the the app that I use, like I've been using, it, it's not popular. Like they're giving me that music. Yeah, that. So look on whatever um, software you're using. There's music on there something too. Like all the recent ones, they didn't copyright. Okay. Yeah. I just use whatever is in there, and it's some of the some of the music doesn't look that bad. It doesn't sound that bad. We spent more time making a dummy than yeah actually bending the line. That's a good tool to have though. I usually have one straight one and uh, like one that 90s. Because the 90, the 90 is your closed bin. You know the closed bin, you're gonna be doing it repetitively like that. Mm -hmm. And if you're you're gonna have a tubing that goes over it, you have to just calculate, measure the tubing and, and add it to that closed bin. So it'll sit over it. You see how this tube nut is? Uh-huh. You see this one's like more flush? Uh -huh. It's because this inside is this is the new one I got. It's because the inside is not as flared. Uh -huh. Is that gonna be the issue? Nah, it's it just that the, the thing is, you're more worried about this. This is just pushing it in. Okay. Okay. And it's squeezing over the tubing, so okay. you'll be fine. And that uh, that this metal mm -hmm. is softer, <laughs> so what happens is when you squeeze it, it'll mm -hmm. um. Okay. It'll squeeze in on it, you know. It's kind of like whenever they do the blocks and they put copper rings, they know that that metal is a lot softer and it's, it doesn't rust, so that it'll um, it'll squeeze itself into it, kind of mold into wherever it needs to be at. So you'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, no, it's you're all you're all motor, yeah. Cause a lot of people use it more for the turbo side. Okay. So we're gonna add an eight. Remember to add an eight, guys. Boom. Put it on. The city. Put on for my city. So you always line it this with that? Yeah, with the eight right there. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yeah, I've been doing it all wrong. I mean that's I just learned that right now too. Because <laughs> usually my the other benders, like I said, you don't have to use the flare the the flare tool. Yeah. You just put it in there and you tighten it up and we're done. Mm -hmm. You're going to bend at 90. That's that. This is our square right here. <laughs> yeah, whatever works. That's fine, Vincent. So, our next bin is going to be. And uh, 
make sure you're bidding it in the right direction. What I do is I act like like it's inside of the car. Oh, don't forget to. So whatever you mark it, you gotta you gotta go back the radius. The radius is five eighths, so we have to go back five eighths, and that'll be where the bin sits at. So what I do is I'll bin the next measurement's eleven. I'll write, I'll draw eleven, and I'll go back five eighths. Five eighths. I'll circle around it just in case I can't see it. And once it's, um, I'll act like it's inside of the car, and our next bin is going to be. The next bin's going to be down, so I'm at. I'll act like it's in the car. It's going down. And the benders, I'll lay it right on that zero. And then to straighten it out, usually I would have a square on here, and I'll hold it like this. But mm -hmm. since we don't have a square, and eyeball it. Yeah, well, there's there's you can kind of line it up with this line right here on the bender itself because you know oh, this okay. is the squirt gotcha. yeah it's trying to get it close you saw the sticker makes it great again <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah man that's all dirty okay so we're down nice nice and clean all right and once we're there, our next measurement is three and seven eighths. We can do three and seven eighths. Go back five eighths for the radius. So it's sitting like this, then we know that the proportional valve is right here. And um, we're trying to, it goes at an angle, but don't worry about the angle part. We're gonna bend this one back in. And as um, soon as we bend it this way, well, I'm gonna bend it right now actually. Yeah, I went ahead and marked it out. I'm gonna let Vincent do the pleasure. Zeno Spark. <laughs> <laughs> Timeless HTX. We gotta get start um, calling each other by our <laughs> YouTube names now. <laughs> Need your own shirt now. Hey, it's my first time trying this. You, the shit. Vincent said that it tastes just like Mountain Dew and it does. <laughs> I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go buy me a case. <laughs> you put me on some new stuff. Put on. This GoPro is weird. So earlier, when I right before I turned it off, it was on thirty percent. Now it says sixty four percent. Fluctuates. Yeah, it's annoying. I don't know what camera I should get though. Sony. I'm on a budget right now too. I gotta take care of my wife's stuff. Ask so. Chris if you can still get discounts. Paid advertisement. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not being advertised with him. Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada dry. <laughs> Damn, did she got some alcohol in here or what? <laughs> <laughs> did you get drunk again? On a DL. <laughs> she don't know. Will hurt. She don't know. Yep. Yeah. It's full on build, dude. Your bare garage. Yep. I feel the same way. <laughs> so. Chase some property. Me, me and Vincent's building our car on the same scale, but 
Uh, Vincent's going more on a uh, re restoration street. Somewhat track. That'll be cool. Yeah, it's expensive. Track expensive. Yeah, because you gotta have a trailer and. <laughs> Pretty much. Sandals, baby. It's how you're supposed to work right here, you know? Or, or, what no. are those? Gotta stretch your legs, you know what I mean? Oh! What are those? <laughs> the hotness. The Crocs, man. I need to get me some. They said they're they're good to use for fishing, too. They're good for, yeah, they're, they're good for yeah. Stuff. housework. Backyard. Why do you have two blocks? Uh, that's a B20. The other one's GSR. Um, oh, because that was your old one. Yeah. And you're not using that one. No. And what was wrong with that one? It was scored. On the sleeve? Yeah. So you can rebuild that one if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm not sure what size board it's at now. But well, I have uh, dial calipers. We can measure it out. It's probably a... To see if there's like any type of tolerance in there. To even bore it, you know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can... But you're playing a K swap anyways, right? I don't know. I might do something with that block. GSR block. Don't know yet. Well, by the time you're done with all this, you should be should be good. What color did you paint your engine? Uh aluminum? Like I, I read like you're not supposed to paint your engine because of the heat. Yeah, it's gonna, but you can use a high temp heat now. Yeah, I use a VHT. It's cheap, got our O'Reilly. Yeah, my brother in law was like, hey, why don't you paint your uh, engine while you're out? You have it out. But I kind of like that raw material look. Mm -hmm. I think it looks a lot more cool. Kind of like again, machinery. I'll, yeah, if I, do, if I do it again, I'll, I'll go to a machine shop, have them uh, heat, heat treat it. Yeah, hot tank. Chemical guys, I see that on a lot of uh, ads too. They're pretty it's, big. Surprisingly, it's uh, not that great amongst the mobile detail business. Like people who, who, who use products on the daily, uh -huh. they don't recommend Chemical guys. He says people say they're they're better products out there. They're better ones. Yeah. It's, they should just seem like a big old franchise. That's what it seems like. Yeah, they got big. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I like videos like that. Just like candid, <laughs> yeah. like very candid. Yeah. It's not edited or censored. Nowadays, everything's censored. Cancel culture. I know. I try not to curse. Maybe it helps too. Like you can't say. <laughs> yeah, it's some bad words, words. Like exactly. especially if my wife is like, "Oh man, uh, don't curse in front of me." Bro. Yeah, but well, she's getting used to it though. Is she holy? <laughs> Why do you have two jump on this? Obi one, Obi one two, Obi two A. Is it both the same thing? This, dude. Cut it. I gave it a little bit of room. Cut it like right here. Cut it right here. Like right at the tip and re flare it. Right, It'll be fine. Damn, I forgot something. Yeah, you cut it. Just cut it. You'll be fine. So. So I don't think it's the end of the world, guys. <laughs> you could just cut it right at the tip. Either that or cut it with the, the grinder and then follow it down. You'll be fine. Like cut it right at the tip. Get the grinder. You just cut it like right there. Cut that lip off. And then just follow it down. Dang. Somebody feels like feeling good today with their top down. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Moment of truth.
bit. How's she looking? Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Looks good. Nice. One line down. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> one more to go. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start. That's a real good start. So you're just going to follow the contour or you're going to... Okay, so... Well, these are the, what, what I'm going to do is... This is going out this way, so never mind. Don't have to worry about these. I'm going to do the other ones first. Yeah, don't worry. Well, I'm not, I don't want to worry about the outside ones. Yeah. I'm going to tell you my uh, plan of attack. So, it's still on. It's still... Oh, I'll turn it off. <clears throat> so, the first line, the first line's in. It looks pretty good to me. It doesn't have to be perfect either. So if I wanted it perfect, like level, I can bend this down and it'll be flat. But we can probably do that later. So the next one will be this one. It'll be going to this, right? No, I think the, those two front ones are for the rears. For right here. So this one is going to go right here. So once we figure out what where the next line goes, it's going to. I'm going to sure on a closed it. bin. We're gonna add a tubing to it. So whenever you guys are bending it, add a um, add a tubing to it, and it'll sit right outside here. Because what we're trying to do is we're tr trying to have them right next to each other. So this next one will sit right here. And it's gonna come down also, and it's gonna go to wherever it needs to go to. Yeah, so that one goes to that one. This one? These goes to that, and these goes to the outside. I'm gonna put, we'll call this one B. And then this B. You can wipe this down later, right? Mm -hmm. no, no. And this one's A. And this one's A. And we'll figure the rest out later. Alright, on to the next line.
while I'm uploading this video, I wanted to talk about uh, my buddy Vincent Zeno Sparks. Uh, he designed some pretty cool stickers, man. You guys should go check them out. And he got me a, I got one of his shirts too. Pretty simple, but it looks, looks awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, support him. I'm gonna wear it on the channel one of these, one of these days. But yeah, it looks pretty sick, dude. Nice and simple. I don't know where I'm going to put these stickers, but he gave me four of them. So I don't know where to put them at. It's cool to have. This one kind of has like this uh, holographic. Um, changes colors. This one's sick right here. It has this one. Got the simple one. Just plain white. Can't go wrong with this. And this is, uh, I think this is his original logo color right here. Then he has this one right here. It's kind of like a silver. But if you can see, it has like this netted texture to it. I don't know which one. I'll, I'll throw one on the Integra whenever it's done. You know, because he's been uh, supporting me, so I'm going to go ahead and support him. But, I don't, I guess that's whenever, I don't know which ones to put on there. I think I might put this one in the Integra. This one's cool. You see how it changes colors? But, yeah, if uh, you guys are interested in any of this stuff, um, make sure you hit him up. I'm, I'm going to put a link inside the description and, you know, just hit him up if you guys are interested in it.